Last time I checked, the show's called Ellen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh, shit, he goes, I'm sorry you got fingered, but we have a show to do. I've got the eye of the tiger beside her. <laughs> <laughs> this is DJ playing the song. She goes, DJ, if you, don't stop, if you stop smiling, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. He goes, okay, miss. All right. Uh, you want to oh, finish shit. it? Uh, yes. Oh, it's, it is more. Uh, I promise you, I plan to continue to push myself and everyone around me to learn and grow. It's important to me uh, and to Warner Brothers that I like she's speaking on their behalf. That everyone who has something to say can speak up and feel safe doing so. Oh, wait, wait, so wait. You, you skip some. You skip some. Um, after that, as someone who was judged and nearly lost everything. All right, all right, all right. Uh, for being who I am, I truly understand and have deep compassion for those being looked at differently or treated unfairly, not equal or worse, disregarded. To think that any one of you felt that way is awful to me. It's been way too long, but we're finally having conversations about fairness and justice. We all have to be more mindful about the way our words and actions affect others. I'm glad <laughs> these issues at our show were brought to my attention. I promise to do my part in continuing to push myself and everyone around me to learn and grow. It's important to me and Warner Brothers that everybody who has something to say can speak up and feel safe doing so. I'll tell you what's this... happening. That's a, that's a little legal mumbo jumbo. I think, oh, yeah. She's not talking about firings at all. And it's because if it's just act, if it's he said, she said, she can't just go willy nilly firing people because they'll get lawsuits against their fucking show from the guys. She's also, so, you know what I mean, it's a weird spot. So she goes, we're going to make them learn and grow. So she's so she going to go, she's going to call somebody and go, now, Kyle, could you please keep your fucking cock in your pants at work, you son of a bitch? Yeah. I'm out there jotting down fucking essays now to come to your stupid ass. Kyle, it's ED. I just put out a barn burner of an apology. I'm going to need you to keep it sheathed, all right? I got a show to run, and you whipping your cock out for these new writers is putting old Ellen in some heat. I like he's he's mellow about it. He goes, Al, come on. You know the sword comes out. I can't put it away until it tastes blood, dude. He goes, come on. You know, I get it. I get it, Kyle. I get it. I do get it. Ellen, come on. If someone pulls Excalibur from the rock, then they become the queen. You understand. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's a, that's a I have to find idea. the one who can wield the sword, you know, the hammer yeah. of Odin. Sorry. You know what it is. It's Crom's sword. What's best in life? To see your writers jerk you off. To hear Ellen Kyle, yell at another. Kyle, I hear everything you're saying. Kyle, I hear everything you're saying. You have a beautiful cock. I, uh, I wish I had one myself. It looked just like it. Oh, sweet. But, Portia has seen pictures, finds it elegant and massive. Yeah. In fact, if you could throw that thing into a plaster cast for me so I can make a strap on and give Portia the biz with your cock, I would. But, Kyle, for the love of God, do not grab the tits of our PAs. <laughs> yeah. She is. And trust me, I want to. I'm, I'm looking at those blouse hounds, and I'm seeing a couple I want to smack around. They're bringing, <laughs> they're bringing yeah. coffee. I'm, she goes, you think I wouldn't want to ooga booga booga those big old fucking titties? You know I yeah. do. She goes, you listen, know I do. I would be giving morning brumskis to that one that's from Portland. Every <laughs> morning, <laughs> but I can't. So, <laughs> dude, uh, dude, let's read the final paragraph. She goes, I'd like to hold those boulders in my hand like the justice scale. But listen, <laughs> yeah. to me. we're at work. This she is goes, after work talk. Yeah, she goes, I would love a midday melon headbutt. But unfortunately, some of us will get in trouble for that. <laughs> hey, you think in the middle of the show sometimes I go backstage, I wouldn't like to check that chick's oil over there? You know I would. <laughs> she goes, but it's hello, inappropriate. <laughs> it's me, ED, Mortal Kombat, Scorpion. Get over here. <laughs> you know I want to do that. <laughs> That's all I'm about. But we can't. Uh, <laughs> the Edge Queen. Come on, you know I. <laughs> Come on, it's me, the Clit Tickler. I want to get the Rim there. Rider. <laughs> <laughs> she's, got, she's got all these nicknames. <laughs> Come on, it's me, Tip Slap McGee. I'm over here. <laughs> Come on, it's it's Slit Lick Degenerates, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you know who you're talking to. I'm just asking you not to fuck up the job. Slick Clint Degenerates is like that. <laughs> slit lick. Slit oh, lick slit. Degenerates. God damn it, dude. She goes, come on, it's me, the Coos Master. You know if I'm in the parking lot, I'm going for that. <laughs> oh, dude, god damn it. Come on, it's Vadger Badger D. Come yeah. on. 
clam slam and ed i'm always here for it <laughs> you want to read, read the final paragraph oh yeah i'm so proud of the work we do and the fun and joy we all help put out in the world i want everyone at home to love our show and i want everyone who makes it to love working on it again i'm so sorry to anyone who didn't have that experience if not for covid i'd have done this in person i can't wait to be back on our stage and see you all then uh, stay safe and healthy. Show ain't going nowhere. She no ain't going nowhere. Tired. She just, no she just pulled the I put everyone in some kind of weird seminar about not fingering the staff. 